Today we're looking at Zebulon Pike. Hello, welcome to the Daily Bell Ringer. Please don't forget to subscribe and take a look at the questions down in the description. Also, don't forget to check out dailybellringer.com for resources that go with many of these Bell Ringer videos. Zebulon Pike was an American military officer and explorer who was responsible for exploring much of the area acquired in the Louisiana Purchase. Pike was born on January 5, 1779 in Lamington, New Jersey to Isabella and Zebulon Pike Sr. His father was a soldier in the Continental Army fighting in the American Revolution at the time when Zebulon was born. After the revolution was over, his father continued serving in the U.S. military and moved his family to different outposts in Ohio and Illinois territories. Zebulon would follow in his father's footsteps, joining the army in 1794 at the age of 15. In 1801, when he was about 22 years old, he married Clarissa Harlow Brown, and together they would have five children. However, only one of their children would live to adulthood. In 1803, the United States purchased the Louisiana Territory from the French for a price of $15 million. The only thing was the United States purchased this 530 million acres of land, but really had no idea what all was out there that they had just purchased. So then President Thomas Jefferson began sending expeditions into the territory, such as the Lewis and Clark's expedition, setting out in 1804 to reach the Pacific Ocean over land. In 1805, Pike was stationed near St. Louis, Missouri, and was given the task of exploring the upper reaches of the Mississippi River and try to find its source. On August 9, 1805, Pike's expedition set out heading north following the Mississippi River. By September 21, 1805, Pike's expedition had reached the point where the Mississippi River and Minnesota Rivers come together near present-day Minneapolis, Minnesota. From there, they continued north until they reached Leech Lake on February 1, 1806. Pike then traveled a little further north to Cass Lake, which Pike announced was the source of the Mississippi River. However, in 1832, other explorers identified Lake Itasca not far away as the source of the Mississippi River, but even to this day, there are some arguments about what the true source of the Mississippi River is. Pike and his expedition spent the remainder of that winter in the area and then began their journey back on April 7th of 1806. They reached St. Louis on April 30th. Their return was much, much faster now because they were traveling with the current of the Mississippi River. Almost immediately upon returning, Pike was given orders to lead another expedition to explore the southwestern part of the Louisiana Territory. On this expedition, he was supposed to map the area and find the headwaters or the source of the Arkansas and Red Rivers. Additionally, Pike was to evaluate the resources in the area and make contact with Native American groups in the region. On July 15, 1806, Pike, along with 18 men, began their journey west across Missouri and into present-day Kansas. They continued west, crossing over into what today is Colorado. By November of 1806, they came within sight of the Rocky Mountains, and Pike spotted one peak that he and the expedition attempted to climb near present-day Colorado Springs. They were unsuccessful in climbing the mountain, but the mountain would be named Pike's Peak. From there, they headed south, and without realizing it, crossed over into New Mexico, which was under the control of the Spanish at the time. Pike and the expedition were captured by the Spanish on February 27, 1807, and taken to Santa Fe, then taken further south into present-day Mexico. Pike and his men were held there for several months before the Spanish escorted them to the Louisiana border and released them on July 1, 1807. Pike and his men then followed the Mississippi River back up to St. Louis. Pike had been able to map a large area of the Louisiana Purchase, as well as areas of Texas and New Mexico. In 1810, Pike published a book detailing his expeditions and what he had seen. It became a very popular book throughout the United States and even overseas in Europe. In 1811, Pike joined William Henry Harrison and led troops at the Battle of Tippecanoe on November 7th of 1811 in central Indiana. Barely a year after this, the United States declared war on Britain and the War of 1812 began. One of the early objectives of the United States was to march north into British-held Canada and capture strategic targets. Pike was promoted to general and led troops north into Canada and attacked York, which is present-day Toronto. 
On April 27, 1813, as the Americans began to push the British back, the British troops ignited their ammunition storage. The blast was massive, killing dozens of American troops, including Zebulon Pike. Pike was only 34 years old. Although Pike never received the same recognition as Lewis and Clark, his exploration of the North and the West would set the stage in America for further expansion of the nation. So with that, hopefully you learned something, and thanks for watching.